So everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I have you guys something a little bit different. Essentially, I'm going to be explaining the basics of high ground and kind of make this into a little bit of a series where I can explain the basic competitive strategies and how to perform them perfectly. So let's get straight into it. So we're going to start off during the half and half zone and where it pulls to first moving. As you can see here, we have a half and half zone. And if you read the zone properly, you can see there's a lot of different little elevation changes, which can make it quite hard for high ground to hold. And as you can see, they are the only dominant high ground players. So if it pulls to the north, the south, any other team can really, really take advantage and crank up and take height from these players as they're really just not going to be able to tarp over a bunch of different elevation changes. Now, the information is really only usable if there's one dominant high ground team like this they're really not gonna be able to hold it for very long as i noted and if you're essentially on one of the edges around this half and half where it's going to pull into first moving if you're on one of those edges be ready to take height because as soon as that zone pops up if you pull that first moving you're gonna want to crank up as soon as possible and claim that high ground before another team does this can be done by already ramping the team above you or before you get into that half and half zone make sure you get in an elevated position and claim height on your side of the zone as we can see for first moving it pulled a bunch of different layers here as you can see on the mountain the river more mountains over there so there's a lot of different types of terrain here this is an example of what a high team is most likely going to struggle on because realistically tarping from here to here to here just isn't really viable and most of the time a team like statics here and noah they can easily just come and take it because they have this whole high ground ledge now, when the zone actually started to move, since we're on the max distance edge, we saw this height team and we noticed that they dropped and is currently free. So me and Dynamic here decided to take advantage of that and try and claim it. But then do notice that the zone pulls so far. Us going here and ramping out really isn't the most viable option unless you're in a really, really drone lobby because someone up here in the front is just going to be able to easily crank up and take it and spray us from the back. And overall, we're probably just going to die if we do that. So what we decided to do instead as a height team, we want to go ahead as much as possible and look for that position to crank up ahead of people kind of similar as to what dynamic did here he went up on this high ground cranked up but i instead repositioned for us to get into these front mountain because i knew if we were able to get control of this elevation we're gonna be able to hold height for the rest of the game that's where something like blobs or fast mobility can help a lot because as you can see i beat everyone up here with the blobs and was able to hit some 90s and boom we have high ground just like that now once you actually get into the further more late game moving zones like second third fourth etc you gotta be careful of other teams taking your high ground at the end of first moving, a lot of teams like to sit in a box, observe what's around them, check high ground, etc. So if they check high ground and you're not pressuring that exact team, they're most likely going to make a high ground play and you got to be very aware of that. So now once you've actually secured high ground, there's something that you and your duo are going to want to do. One person should be the designated tarper, while the other one's going to sit ulti high ground two to three layers above the tarper and make sure that no one sneaks up. And as you can see, the zone pulls far here, so we decided to look back and hold. And as you can see, I go up a couple layers here to make sure we hold ultimate high ground. Whoever is going to be that person playing ultimate height, you need to be sticking edge to zone to make sure that no one can actually come up behind your tarper. You'll have all the angles possible. So while this person, like me, is riding the edge of the storm, the tarper is going to be going ahead and make sure you're ahead of the zone and connected to other builds at all times to make sure you limit the chances of you getting chopped out. As you can see here, all the way into the end of the zone, we stuck with this pretty well. I was staying on that edge of the zone while he was getting ahead and connecting us and making sure that we're as far in as possible. Now, while you're actually on high ground, you don't want to be just sitting there applying no type of pressure. You're going to be wanting to look down below you and see which teams are going to be a threat to high ground potentially. This is most likely going to be the second height team. So you're going to make sure you put the most possible pressure on them, as well as any team that's just in front of the zone and could potentially look back at you. As the game's getting really, really into a position, you don't really need to play ultimate high ground and a tarper role anymore. You just want to mainly stick together and look for targeted fries on people below you. You have a much higher chance of actually killing someone and getting a refresh if you guys are both shooting at the same person. Maybe call for three, two, ones and doing something like that. As you can see here, I dropped down and we noticed that this guy looks like a solo. So Dynamic's going to keep pressure on him from height while I actually go onto the side of his wall and begin to smack the wall to apply pressure and when you're applying pressure on two different angles it's going to make the chances of you getting that refresh way way higher now during the final moving zone a lot of teams like to play aggro some play really passive and some even play for heal off in terms of me and dynamics play style we play a more aggro and try to get as many picks as possible as you can see he's running around low ground tries to get as many free picks as possible i'm also kind of doing the same thing on high ground looking back zone for picks get a pick just like that it's the easiest way to get a lot of kills especially Especially if you're kind of lacking on kills this like last moving zone is going to be really really easy to get a bunch of picks especially if there's solos alive as you can 
can see here, not only are we playing more aggressive, but you'll see in a sec here that we are still counting down, doing three, two, ones, and make sure that we're targeting our sprays at the same person. This is just gonna overall, like I said before, reduce the time it takes to kill someone and higher your chances of actually getting the elimination. As you can see, towards the end of the game, we start to close it out and it becomes a 2v2. In these type of scenarios, you really want to pay attention to the terrain around you and make sure that you're blocking them off, trying to claim high ground, etc. You wanna make sure you always have every single advantage possible in this 2v2. Here we make sure to claim the higher elevated terrain to block them off from actually coming up. So they're gonna have to come up from either the storm or in front right in our view. And as you can see, Dynamics is able to get an easy pick off of that guy because he has had to come to the front and the other guy has to come through the back and leave us an easy win because we're able to just double spray him down and he's not able to do very much in this situation it's almost impossible for someone to actually 1v2 at least in my experience so it leaves a pretty free win for us and that's pretty much it those are pretty much the fundamentals of exactly what you need to do to hold and take high ground now you do need to actually perform these in lobbies to get better at it and that's why there's such a big difference between some of the best height teams like vino and queasy and a lot of the lower tier players these are just the basic fundamentals that you need to master and that's pretty much it for this video guys if you guys want to see more content like this below let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see next from me make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace